Hey there everyone, welcome back again to this complete PTC Creo parametric series where we are covering PTC Creo from zero. In this particular video, which is 57th video on this series, we're going to talk about spinal bend. In our last video, we covered how one can create toroidal bend. So if you want to check how we can create toroidal bend or even want to cover this PTC Creo parametric course from beginning, then do check out the video link where I have provided both playlist as well as previous video. Now let's come back to our topic, which is how we can create spinal bend. So I would say spinal bend is a very interesting way to bend the solid geometry. So all here we need to do is let me actually create a solid geometry first and just to make it even easier probably i can go with uh, this kind of shape um, let's make it 30 and this one i'm gonna make eight and now let's add a circle here which kind of give this solid geometry a unique style and now here also i can delete it now what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna click ok and let's increase the length of this extrude to for example 250 so now we have got this solid geometry ready and now i am looking to bend it and for that i'm gonna use spinal bend now uh first of all what we need to do here is uh, we need to create the sketch along which we would like to bend it so um, in order to create sketch we can click here on sketch and then uh, let's click here on the right plane where I would like to draw the sketch so when we draw the sketch probably you also would like to uh, you know check the overall length of this particular part and then um, based on your requirement you can define or design the shape so after you create the sketch along which you would like to bend this solid geometry please also add the coordinate system after we have added coordinate system um, let's also do one thing uh, which is adding fillet here and here as well again um, let's make them equal and now I'm gonna give this value as let's say 30 let's also make this one as 85 probably yep now let's click OK so I guess uh, we have completed all the prerequisite of this spinal bend. All we need to do here is we need to go to this engineering tab and now let's click on spinal bend. Now here on the bottom message bar here, we can see it is asking us to select the edge chain or a curve. So here we have got this curve and then based on our requirement, we can change the starting point. Now in this particular scenario, this starting point makes sense because this is like from where both the curve as well as the solid part is starting and now all we need to do is uh, we need to click here to select the bend geometry and then it can be a quilt or a solid body now let's click here on to select the solid geometry and now i'm going to select the solid geometry and there we go guys here you can see we were successfully able to bend this solid geometry based on my profile now uh, here you can see how this part now look like which could be slightly challenging although i would say you can also achieve this using sweep command but sometime you know we are only aware of the unbent length so in that case also this could be helpful although i would say um, still we need to see the k factor now again uh, let me quickly show you one more option which i believe is of um, use which is preserve length and if you click here on preserve length so now the entity got bent but still the perimeter or the length of this bend geometry remain same as it was in state condition so in this way guys you can create spinal bend in ptc creo i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational and if you are the one who is looking for complete free ptc creo parametric course on internet then you are at right place do subscribe to engineering pritam to follow our complete ptc creo parametric series and other engineering related topic and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye